what? What is up, YouTube? It's Juan Wolf here, and today I'm bringing y'all a 51 and 7 gameplay on Nuketown here. And I already joined in at two minutes. And as you see, this man no scoped me. I looked in the theater mode, but whatever. Um, it's been a hot minute since I had uploaded a video because, and that's because, um, what do you say? That's because, um, that's all because I'm I've been. I'm being in good lobbies now because ever since I raised my um, score per minute to 400 in domination, all of a sudden I'm not uh, I'm going against um, good players now, which really does suck for me because I'm not gonna get gameplays as frequently. So that means y'all, um, I, I I wish y'all can be patient for the gameplays because I really am trying my best because. I usually don't play in parties because when I do play in parties, it's six man or eight man, so that's why we have to play in domination. So that's why um, I play solo and stuff. So I'm sorry, guys, for the um, for not uploading yesterday. I had to do not. Um, I, first of all, I'm not trying to make an excuse or anything, but first of all, for the gameplay yesterday, um, I couldn't make one because I had to go to an airport um, and get my mom. So sorry for that. And second of all, um, I couldn't make a gameplay because I couldn't make a gameplay because I when I came back I can't even get any good lobbies. All they were were like just just stupid matchmaking. You should have seen for yourself. I literally got the dumbest lobbies in the whole wild whole whole wild wide world. Sorry, I seriously can't even get any good lobbies. In all honesty, I literally the one match I was. My team was all prestige ones, no parties. I was in a mercenary mosh pit, all, no parties at all. And then, guess what? One team was full of prestige masters, the other one was full of prestige ones. Now, explain to me these people, I know they did not reset their stats because they were like zero, like 0 0.4 KD stuff. So, like, I know they did not restart their stats. And look at that double kill, though. So I know they did not restart their stats because that would, first of all, that would be dumb. Who does that? Second of all, they had bad KD, so I already know that they're noobs at the game. So, so I'm asking Treyarch, why would you do such a thing like that? That's just that just makes it not fun for the people who play the game as much as you you think they do. Like seriously, you should have balanced teams as much as you can because if you don't have balanced teams it's not going to be fun for one team it's going to be very fun for the other one because they're going to just wreck you and destroy you so tell me why you you, sh you want to um put these unfair teams i don't understand it at all but whatever i'm talking about hero gear i have i put no i'm i'm about to finish nomad all i need to do is get 40 high kills and do the double kill thing so whatever i think that would be pretty easy. And look at that spawn trapping, but the aim assist messed me up because it auto aiming to someone else instead of the person I was trying to kill, and then I was gonna chain kills, but whatever. So, um, I need tips for Nomad's double kills. How am I supposed to get high double kills? Because I don't know, I don't even know how to get 40 kills as fast. So seriously, how am I supposed to get high kills if I can't even get? If I can't, how am I supposed to get high double kills if I can't even get um 40 kills in two days with the high? So please drop some tips. I really don't know what game mode to play. Hard point seems good, but it's just sweaties in that game lobby. So I really don't enjoy that lobby that much. But seriously, any tips for getting double kills with the reject or the hive would be very appreciated because that would lead me to getting hero gear and giving y'all some gameplay with it. And I hope y'all do enjoy the gameplay with the hero gear. So the first person I, I'm going to get hero gear for is definitely Spectre because he just looks so sick in hero gear in all honesty. He just looks like a boss. He looks like a straight up boss in all honesty. And look at that. Like, is that even possible? Can you actually put your legs through a wall in real life like that? I don't know, but anyway, I just wish, I wish, um, Hero Gear would come out once you finish all the basic gear for someone. It shouldn't be, like, for everyone, because they knew, Treyarch knows that, um, Nomad would be a pain, but they already just put Nomad because... Like, seriously, man, like, Nomad is gonna be the worst ever. He really is a hard, he really is a hard, um, specialist to do it for because he will be the biggest pain ever, in all honesty, so whatever. 
and they destroy my talent pretty quickly which is why i like to fly high with the talent because i feel like it's under underpowered in some in, in a de to a degree it's underpowered because as you see the accuracy with the talent is so good but it can get shot down so quickly one one xm53 or black cell rocket or two um l4 siege rockets will destroy a talent something you work so hard for it gets destroyed like seriously that it does not make sense anyways but i think that's what it is but whatever so i'm, I'm already 36 and 3 and when i saw that on the leaderboards i was kind of happy because you know 36 and 3 I, I haven't been performing that good in black ops 3 and i joined a game with the razorback and i'm 36 and 3 which is why I lead to my next point. I don't know, man. I, I, I decided I wanted to put the suppressor on the CUDA, and the, the CUDA hasn't been doing anything good for me lately, to be honest. I, I'm not doing that much work with the CUDA, but the Razorback, though? Razorback. Oh my god, the Razorback is a god gun, in all honesty. I really do love that gun. The Razorback? Man. Seriously, man. Razorback is like OP. But anyways, that's just my opinion because, you know, I'm used to using Razorback which means I can be so good in the game with the Razorback. Unlike people who like Green Goblin, the um, YouTuber, he's good at using the VMP because he plays with it a lot. So, although I'm not good with the, the Razorback, I mean, not the Razorback, I meant the VMP, people can actually make it work and get nuclears with it because they actually, they actually play with that um, thing, um, play with that weapon a lot. And that actually makes them perform good when using that weapon. And that's the same thing with me and the Razorback. And sometimes the CUDA, because the CUDA can act acts up sometimes. It's like consistent. It's not that consistent of a weapon. Although it's like the most balanced one, it's not as consistent, ironically. Because one 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 day you 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 get like um you can get you can do so much work with it, and then the other day you're not getting that many kills because guess what? Because um because you're, um, because, I don't know, you're just not practicing, like, seriously, I don't know, the CUDA is the most inconsistent weapon I use, and the XR2, too, like, the, the burst weapons, too, are not that consistent either, because one, one day, you're gonna be so good with it, and the other day, you just really do suck with it, and I really do not enjoy that, which is the reason why, I like to stick with one weapon, and that's it, that's why I feel like going for Dark Matter, because, number one, Dark Matter is more of a grind than Hero Gear, and it's taking me like a month to get Hero Gear. Second of all, Dark Matter, it's just a camo, seriously. And seriously, in all honesty, I think the haptic camo is much better in, in, in the first place anyway. So, like, why why do that in the first place, or whatever. As you see, I'm spawn trapping a little bit. I, I, I do some spawn trapping. Don't, hey, don't hate me for that. I actually like spawn trapping sometimes. If my team is actually good, and they actually know how to not push the spawns as much, as they need to for spawn trapping, but whatever. As you see, the game's about to come to an end. I get, I take a shot for the teammate, and I'm gonna show you the kill cam that the teammate got. Um, let me go back. And where's that guy? Yeah, him. Look at him. He gets a double. He look. He gets a collateral for the win. Like seriously, that is the most clutch kill cam ever. So, anyways, make sure you drop a like for the video and subscribe if you're new. I enjoy all the support that people come with. So just thank you for watching the video and phone wolf.